even know the title of this video, so I don't even know what I'm saying here. Let's just quickly get to it. We're gonna be cooking food today. Yay! For cooking and health. For health. Peace. And without further ado, let's begin. Here are the ingredients you need to make vegetarian chili. Let's go right now, go! Once you have all those ingredients, you are gonna want to peel that sweet potato. Uh, I know it calls for two medium sized, but this one's really freaking big. Then you're gonna need a cutting board and you're gonna need a knife prepared. And then we're gonna drizzle it with some olive oil and put some spice into that life. Keep cutting your potatoes in half like this. Oh, that's safe! boys every 20 minutes so check these bad boys out every 10 ish minutes or so probably will take half an hour and then you gotta put them in the oven and let those little babies rest and get warm and tasty Ooh. oh yeah oven ah. mitts now we're gonna chop up the onion the peppers and the two cloves of garlic woo wee chopping the garlic then you're gonna want to put it in the pan you heat it up that I totally mentioned before and definitely have on the stove if mo cooking mama told me anything it said the onions go in first onion once the onions are looking better like better onions you're gonna put all these damn red peppers peppers and yellow peppers in your pan. Oh, oh. I forgot that we have to cut a chili, so we're gonna do that now. First step is to get gloves. Uh, and if you're me and you don't have gloves, then skip that. Get a cloth, place your victim on the cutting board and roll that bad boy out because you want to get the seeds out. Take that little leaf, get it out of here. You're gonna wanna scoop out all the seeds. Now cut this bad boy in half. <coughs> just got really spicy in my face. And finish cooking all these juicy veg thing, uh, this. Since you forgot about your sweet potatoes in the oven, maybe now's a good time to go check them. Okay, well they're definitely not done, but we need to swoosh them around the pan with uh, some sort of utensil that will, you know, mix them all up, get them all oily again. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, 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 uh. One teaspoon of each of these spices. We got cayenne pepper, cinnamon, cinnamon, cumin powder. Oh my god, that smells so good with the cinnamon. Put it on your lower simmering heat, whichever one you please. Fun fact of the day: uh, frijoles are my favorite food ever. Get on in there. Now we're gonna pick these little guys and we're gonna put them in our pan. Have you ever had that moment when you really need to change pans? That's what's gonna happen next. Get those tomatoes nice and hot. Transfer all of this into there. Oh shoot, will this fit? Let's find out. You're gonna wanna add some salt and pepper. Meals is that 
uh, you can taste your food at all times and you won't get infected by like, you know, E. coli and all that crap. You know what I mean? We're gonna do this thing, which is coriander slash cilantro, and you're gonna want to chop up like the sticky part of it. Pour that into the pan. They're whistling at me. Bruh, where? We're gonna use approximately one cup of you. Now we're going to let this sit for approximately half an hour. I'm now going to rinse one cup of jasmine rice you basmati works just as well but I would say pick a white rice and then and then once that's done you can make guacamole And in that amount of time, your rice will be done. Once you have your three bowls out, you're gonna wanna put rice in them, and then your chili on top, and then your garnish on top, and your guacamole. Like a racer at the start